Hey guys, today we get to talk about Heart of Kinrin. So this card is in a lot of decks. It is probably the most dominant card. It replaces Smuggler's Copter. There's no other explanation for it. They banned Smuggler's Copter because it was too good and it was being played in all types of decks. It was pretty much a four of. Well, this one is pretty much a four of as well, although it is legendary just because of how good the card is. The card is very, very good and Mardu Vehicle. And Mardu Vehicle is six of the top eight decks in the Pro Tour. Where's Mardu Vehicle? So obviously you're going to play the best vehicle that you can have. Mardu Vehicles, uh, it's kind of a deck that I look at and it doesn't seem all that fun to me. And this card in particular, when it first came out, I was like, oh nice, this card would be really fun to play with because of its second ability, which is dependent on the loyalty of the Planeswalkers. I guess it wouldn't be second ability, it's like the fourth ability on it. The fact that it has four abilities is pretty impressive for a two drop. Now, it's OP, there's no other way to say it. It's as bad as Smuggler's Copter. Maybe it's a little bit better than Smuggler's Copter because you can't have multiples of them around. But as a vehicle, it's very good. A 4-4 Flying Vigilance that can also block. I mean, there's a reason Mardu Vehicles is so is doing so well. Uh, and there's also a reason that it puts up the numbers it does. And now, after the Pro Tour is over, people are going to pick up whatever the deck is that's popular. It will be this deck. It will be a deck featuring the card. And then they will net deck the card. They will neck deck it, and you will see a ton of these around. Hence why the sharp spike. And as you can see, it declined, 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 and then spiked up to an all-time high, which is today. On the 5th of February, it's at an all-time high. Now, you could have got in around $13, which would have been a very good buy around January, right before it went up in price, but even... Even after, you could have got for $15 pretty recently. And that's quite interesting to see go from 15 to 24 It's not going to go much higher in my opinion. It, the card is one of the best cards you can play right now. But it is because of the Pro Tour hype. Now the decks in a Pro Tour, a lot of players will net deck them. But that doesn't mean that everyone's going to run a bunch of these just because of how expensive they are. They cost $100 a playset, and that, that is pricey no matter what the card is. So overall, Heart of Kenrin, I, everyone identified this card as a very strong card. Mardu Vehicles is a very, very strong deck. This card is extremely good in that deck. And the top eight, if you watch the top eight of Pro Tour A for Revolt, it is vehicles against vehicles against vehicles. It is Heart of Kenrin against other Heart of Kenrins in an interesting and subtle thing. So actually, you can trade them and then you can just play your... So legendary effect doesn't actually make it that much worse because you're looking for a trade and then play your next one. It costs two. That's the problem here. It's so cheap and affordable. Is it as powerful as Smuggler's Copter, which was just banned? No, I think it's weaker. But along the lines, it's still very, very good. Uh, maybe too good. I don't expect this to be banned. It would just be absolutely ridiculous for them to ban this. I'm just going to put it out there. I would, I would be shocked. I would be shocked and honestly appalled if they went ahead and banned this card. I mean, out of the Mardu vehicles, they would take this one out. But overall, expect this card to dominate at your FNM. Expect the card to dominate at the Pro Tour again, maybe. And expect the card to dominate at the smaller events. Maybe to some GPs, it will do very well. Mardu vehicles is a real deck, and this is a real card. Not that you needed me to tell you that, but it has gone up in price. Anyway, bye guys.